hello welcome to my channel everyone today i try to explain uh, today our topic is pipe and plate gable degree calculation this topic is very important for steel and pipe application this topic if you carefully listen and watch my video i think maybe you can understand what is the bevel degree calculation and how to do it so my friend let's we start i already here draw some pipes and some plates and some different thickness of plate and one type of pipe actually when we start to work structure or any marine pipeline so the pipe is actually we get two type of pipe one type is seam pipe another type is seamless pipe so this is the two type of pipe we get for fabrication pipe so if seam pipe or if seamless pipe it doesn't matter when we try to join one pipe to another pipe so we need to cut the bevel for the welding if without bevel we join the pipe so the welding is only top side no possible to go inside the welding that the pipe is after welding not be strong so if we cut the bevel before welding then the pipe is after welding will be stop actually this is a procedure of the pipe fabrication or pipe welding maximum time if we fabricate the pipe the pipe fabrication time we must be get a drawing must follow the drawing if drawing have the bevel mention 37 degree or 37.5 degree so we follow the drawing no i have mentioned in the drawing how many degree we cut the bevel the pipe so this is the actually is the procedure maximum 37 point maximum time we cut 37 point 5 degree bevel every type of pipe so before we start to fit up this pipe we must need to cut 37.5 degree bevel on the pipe face so i try to show you how is the procedure of cut the pipe bevel like example this is the pipe face so here like this you need to cut bevel so here we should know 37.5 degree we cut the bevel but this is the face face of pipe this face we must be 1.5 mm we keep 1.5 mm of this face 1.5 mm this face is 1.5 mm like example we need to cut this pipe bevel we here to here cut 37.5 degree so we need to put here allowance on the face 1.5 mm so we know here also cut 37.5 degree 
we are also cut 35 37.5 degree after that when we join the pipe so i have some question how many millimeter is we need to put gap when we fit up the pipe that time we need to put gap here face to face about 4 mm if we welding TIG or TIG or argon welding so we need to put here 4 mm this is root gap this is the root face and this is the root gap we need to put here here to here 4 mm if we no use thick welding if only we use arc welding, stick welding, at the moment minimum gap allow 2.5 mm. This is the minimum gap of arc welding because the, our welding electrode is minimum size is 2.5 mm. If here we do not put 2.5 mm, if we, put, if we put 2 mm, so we know possible to put inside our welding electrode because the welding electrode size is 2.5 mm. So we must know if we arc welding using that the moment we put 2.5 mm minimum gap. If 3 mm also no problem, but if less than 2.5 that is the problem for the root path so we already learned if arc welding you put minimum 2.5 mm gap root gap or if peak welding so we put 4 mm minimum gap because the the argon welding is thick welding we need minimum 4 mm root gap to the pipe joint type. That is the clear. Okay. So if when we plate fabrication, plate fabrication time, like example, this one is 10 mm plate. Here also 10 mm plate. Here also 10 mm plate. So this is the part joint. We call it this is the part joint. At the moment before we join we need to cut the bevel also. So, what is the procedure of this plate bevel cutting? This plate bevel cutting procedure, like example, if 10 mm plate, if you have mentioned to the drawing 30 degree, 30 degree, so you cut 30 degree. If have the mention, 35 degree so you follow the drawing you cut 35 degree otherwise maximum time is the standard plate to plate if one side bevel cutting if one side bevel cutting like example like this this is one side bevel so we need to cut 30 degree here also cut 30 degree here also cut 30 degree so here also cut 30 degree and here also cut 30 degree then after like example this is the plate you cut here to here 30 degree like this sorry like this 30 degree cut here also 30 degree cut and then you cut and you throw the plate you cut then you throw the cut piece and then grinding properly after that you join the this plate so here also I have question how many gap we need so example maximum time when we MS plate 
part joint when we pick up. Maximum time is we are required the arc welding, stick welding. So minimum gap is allowed 2.5 mm. If one side bevel 30 degree and then 2.5 mm root gap 1.5 mm. This is 1.5 mm. This is 1.5 mm root face. And the bevel is 30 degree. So if our plate is 1 inches, this is the this is 30 degree is this 30 degree of this plate because this is 10 mm and one side bevel only if we have 25 mm thickness plate or one inch thickness plate at the moment no possible to cut one side bevel always we follow the drawing but maximum time drawing if the more thickness plate so we need to follow two side bevel like example like this like this two side cut bevel so at the moment if two side cut bevel so we put here root face 1.5 mm and the bevel is must will be 45 degree top side also 45 degree down side also 45 degree this is the procedure of more thickness plate <coughs> we cut top side 45 degree and down side 45 degree <coughs> so when we cutting time how we know this how we set our cutting torch is 45 degree cut like example we mark here center one point after here to here like example this plate is one inch thickness so we know one inch is equal to 25.4 mm so we think this is 25 mm so we take here 12 mm actually if we divide half so here to here 12.5 mm so we take here also 12.5 mm after that we can mark it after that we use hand cutter also we can cut otherwise if you use automatic cutting machine there have the degree regulator you set up the degree regulator then you can cut 45 degree top side and then down side also 45 degree like this then after this one this plate after this cut piece you throw away and grinding properly and put after here minimum 2.5 mm gap heat up time you put minimum 2.5 mm gap then after you can fit up this plate butt joint but sometimes we face this type of plate one plate is 10 mm thickness another plate is 1 inches thickness at the moment when we fit up these two type of thickness plate together that time we need to here cut the bevel different type like example this one is 10 mm plate so we cut here
here we cut about 30 degree like example you must follow the drawing this is the root face 1.5 mm this is the plate is 1 inch so here we need to cut like this like this this is the root face 1.5 mm this is the 30 degree bevel and then after here 1 inch simple you know what I mean that means I try to explain here we need to cut 30 degree like here 30 degree we need to cut like this this is 10 mm plate and then the thick plate we calculate here 10 mm same 10 mm after that here same 30 degree we cut like this we cut direct 30 degree after this one cutting finish then one more time we set our cutting torch here we cut one inch our procedure is like this two time we cut bevel in thick place thick plate we cut at first 30 degree after that with 10 mm thickness 10 mm height after we cut one more time this plate so we learn here four procedure is the cutting of bevel this is 10 mm thickness 25 mm thickness together like this plate maximum heat up if somebody working in shipyard so ship on the main deck the main deck center place like the procedure is put the thick plate and the both side is water balance tank starboard side and port side they are maximum using 10 mm or 12 mm plate because the center of the main deck in the ship they want to put some winch or some ruler that's why they, they need the strong of the main deck that's why we using the thick size of plate so now one more thing is very important like example when you try to cut this one 30 degree bevel on the plate so how we cal you calculate if you use the hand gas cutting so how we calculate the 30 degree like example very easy to we can cut 45 degree because we should know like example like this right angle like this right, right angle is if here 90 degree so here 45 degree and here also 45 degree this is the right angle 90 degree 45 degree 45 degree so if you cut 45 degree easy to cut because here have if here have 10 mm so here also take 10 mm then you mark it after you cut but if have 30 degree to cut like this blade is 30 degree so here to here how many mm you need to cut this is how you calculate like example this is the this is the 45 mm if 45 mm if you cut this one 45 mm like example this one is 10 mm plate if you want cut 40, 45 degree if you cut 45 degree so here 10 mm here also 10 mm you take you can cut 45 degree but if 30 degree so if 45 degree 10 mm 
you must be you must be divide 45 degree 45 divide 10 is equal to 4.5 sorry so you can see here like example this this is the 10 mm plate if we 10 mm here and also we take 10 mm here so that one is 45 degree so when is 30 degree we want to cut so this 10 mm we divide 45 degree is equal to 0 to 2 to 2 that means after this is that means 1 degree is 0 1 degree is 0 0.0 to 2 to 2 is millimeter so after that we multiply with 30 because we need 30 degree so the result is 6.6667 that means we take here 7 we have to here we need to cut 7 mm like example like this if we 30 degree so here to here we take 7 mm cutting from here to here then we can get 30 degree is this label if example this pipe is 37.5 degree we need to cut bevel you think this one is the pipe thickness is twelve mm. If the pipe thickness is twelve mm, we need to cut thirty seven point five degree. So same formula you can use. This is twelve mm divide forty five degree zero point two six six. After this one multiply 37.5 degree is equal to 10 mm so if you want to cut this 5 degree also you use this formula you can use you can cut 35.7 degree so we need to measurement here to here 10 mm after that we cut like this this is the procedure of cutting bevel that's all. This is our class is today. If continue or watching the our class, so please subscribe to my channel and comment. And you go to YouTube channel, you can search steel and pipe fabrication tutorial. I have more video is there. If you want to see, if you want to learn more, so please you watch continue to my video. Thank you.